Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, bottle of beer, sometimes an ale, or maybe a, a spirit or a wine will drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. And we take a look at the labeling. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork, see what they're trying to sell us, crack it open, and see if it meets expectations. Now, there's a couple things we do, maybe a little different. What we do is we always use the same style of glassware for all of our tastings. That way, no beer has an edge up when it's for clarity or aromatics. Most folks, when they do tastings, they will take a look, they will sniff, sip, and then speak. Well, I don't do that. I, si I sip first. Why do I sip first? I'll let wine expert Fred Dex explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I can. Finally, all beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales between 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their lollipop thermometers. That way I have the temperatures for all of the beers we taste. All right. Well, let's see. Well, you had a, a quick peek a little earlier, but what do we have today? Okay. This is a Czech style Pilsner at 5.5% alcohol by volume, one pint. This is a Palmokova. Palmokova. Pal I'm trying to remember whether the accent is on the second syllable or not. And so this would be Palmokova. Palmokva. 12. And it is a premium filtered Pilsner, a product of the USA. Schilling Beer Company, the government warning that I should not be a pregnant woman or operate heavy machinery. Uh, the, uh, let's see, five cents uh, for the can tax uh, in uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. And it is brewed and bottled by Schilling Beer Company, Littleton, New Hampshire. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and it's got the symbols for that as well. Okay, now, they've got line A. There's a it's a subway map here, and I'm pretty sure it's probably of uh, P-A-L-M-O-V-K-A. -A. That's probably where it is. And uh, why it's 12, I don't know, but it is a Czech style Pilsner and it says it is premium filtered. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a straw colored, very effervescent, um, uh, lightly hopped, uh, but <clears throat> just a, a sprig of, ma of, sprig of, of uh, uh, roasted grain, but mainly a, a freshness, a fresh, refreshing type of a, of a flavor uh, that has a very dry finish. Let's crack this open and see if it can meet those expectations. All right. Well, it's the right color. That is for sure. Oh, it's a little, no, come on now, Peter. That's, that's a really nice, it might, it could be a little lighter, but again, it's a dark day today. So, uh, and we got some great, <clears throat> great foam at the top. And this is a Pilsner. So it would be a lager. So it would be 40, 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is at 47, exactly 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is at the top end as far as the temperature to be a perfectly poured beer. All right, well, <clears throat> it looks like a Czech style Pilsner, a little, a little hefty for it, a little dark, but hey, it's there. It's got the right head. Let's see if it tastes like one. Cheers. Unless I took two sips. <clears throat> the reason for that is the first one is an acclimation sip. Um, my taste buds, they, 
they don't they pay no attention to when I'm talking so uh, they go on a little while and all of a sudden they get this <coughs> excitement and uh, they don't quite know what to make of it so they need a second sip to figure out what's going on let's see if the old factory friends can help them out There is a grassy, grainy aroma there. The grassiness is similar to not a new mown lawn, but a, <clears throat> if you would go through a meadow, um, say in the, in the uh, late morning in particular, there's that aroma of grass uh, that you get. And as far as the grain goes there, it's a very lightly roasted grain, um, almost like a biscuit type of a thing. British biscuit, not American biscuit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if it tastes like one. Cheers. Well, yeah. Except for it being a little bit, except for being a little bit on the dark side. Ugh. Um, no, the flavors are, that is nice. It's a nice, real Pilsen style Bitterness, uh, dryness at the end. Not bitter, dry. We're talking dry here. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay, so does Palmokva, the 12 Czech style Pilsner from the folks at Schilling Beer in Littleton, New Hampshire, meet expectations? It certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell hit the bell because that way you won't miss any of our presentations a comment would be really appreciated i'm pete lafrance the old growler hoping all of your beers meet expectations <laughs>